In this example, we're going to test a pressure switch using the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator. We're going to be measuring the dry contacts with resistance measurement of the 754. We'll generate pressure into the switch with a hand pump, which will apply pressure to the input of the pressure module, as well as then to the input of the pressure switch. To begin the test, we first want to measure resistance. And we want to source pressure. To make sure we have a good zero on our pressure module, we would select clear zero to zero out any offset. To perform the test, we need to get to the split screen and select as found for a one point switch test. To define the test, we press enter on set point. We're expecting a, ten, a set point of 10 psi and the set point type is high, so above 10 psi we're looking for shorted contacts. We define the test tolerance of 1 psi for the set point, minimum size of dead band, maximum size of dead band, and we're going to trip on continuity. Perform the test, select manual test, continue, close the vent on the pump, and pump the pressure up to the expected set point and look for the display to go from reset to set. And then release the pressure until the reset point is found. Here's the set point that was found and the reset point. Press done. And you see your documented test, the set point value, the error from ideal set point, the reset point, the size of the dead band, and the dead band error. If either the set point error or the dead band error were greater than test tolerance, they would be flagged in a reverse video indication. And that's how you test a pressure switch with the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator.